Hi, recently I happened to meet my headmaster. Today we call as a principal of my school when I did my 10th class and uh, Dr. Dasha Dharadi sir is 80 plus right now. So when I went to do a program in Nalgonda, my town where I was born, I went to visit him and when he had come to know about my progress, what I do, that I am into memory training, I am conducting memory championships, I train people on speed reading, I have done so many Guinness World Records, I keep traveling in India and abroad. He was very happy. He said, you must keep growing. I said, Guruji, tell me, I still want to progress in life, what I should do? He looked at me and said, you must take care of your diet. He said, you must take care of your diet. I smiled and said, Yes, sir, I do take care of a diet. Earlier, I used to eat a lot of non-vegetarian food. I stopped eating that. Even that Coke, Pepsi, I stopped that. And today, most of it, no, I am on the natural diet. I take care of my body. I know that I have to keep traveling and I have to keep standing whole day and do training. I need to have good stamina. So, I am very peculiar about what I eat. He looked at me and said, Jaisima, when I say diet, it's not about only what you eat. It is about Anything that is getting into your body and brain, what you read is your diet. What you watch, television, movies is your diet. With whom you spend time with is your diet. Where you go is your diet. What you talk is your diet. That means whatever we do, everything is a diet. It is input to the brain. He said, when we talk about diet, only people think about the food that we eat and that will determine our physical health. But what about our mental health? Physical health is one aspect, but if you want to be having determination, you need to have that motivation, you need to have that confidence, you need to have the positive attitude, you should say never, no, say die attitude. Where does that come from? It comes from your thoughts and these thoughts get affected from what? Now it is from the external stimuli, what you listen from people. If you are in the company of negative people, your total mind will be only thinking negatively, will be very suspecting people. If you read bad literature, bad books, your thoughts too will become bad. You watch bad videos on YouTube or on television or movies, your thoughts will be like that only. And if you are in the company of people who drink, who smoke, who do all wrong things, you exactly do that. So you must be very careful as to what kind of diet you are actually giving to your brain and body. So if you can take care of that, means what? You should take care of the people with whom you spend time with. Whom are you listening to? What you speak? What you read? What you see? Where you go? All that is your diet. If you can take care of that, and I'm sure you will have healthy body along with that healthy brain. If you have this both, you will be a lethal combination. So children and also others who are listening to this video, make sure when you talk about diet, it is not only about the food that we eat, breakfast, lunch and dinner. It is much more than that. Okay. So whatever input we are giving, it is one kind of a diet which will affect our thought process. It will affect our feelings. So what you think is what you say. What you say is what you do. What you do will become your habit. Your habit will decide your future. It will decide your destiny. Means what you become 5-10 years from now, it will depend upon what you are thinking right now. What are feeling right now here. And this thinking and these feelings will be affected from the external stimuli. So you should be very careful about the kind of diet that you are giving to the brain. So always be in the company of good people, like-minded people, people who like to read, people who are determined, people who are positive thinkers, go to the temple, go to the church, go to the mass and see positive, you know, inspirational videos, read good, good books and make sure that every second, every minute you are giving some diet to the brain besides what we are eating and that will actually make you to feel and think that will decide your life. Understand this? So this is what my guru, who was my headmaster in my 10th class, he gave me as a passing you know advice for me and it made my eyes open and i thought of sharing this particular you know piece of wisdom with all of you what do you say this is jason signing off thank you so much love you all bye, -bye.